everyone. Welcome back to Good to Know. I'm John. I'm Rebecca. And we want to thank you for choosing this channel for our reviews. So let's go see what we got today. This is the Blitz Home countertop dishwasher. But it's not only a dishwasher, you guys, it will also wash fruits and vegetables. It has a multiple cycles and it has a heated dry function. So this thing is awesome. It also has a light inside. You can see right there, it's a blue light. The drawer rolls out conveniently so that you can access your items. This folder, when it folds down, it's built for cups and fold it up when you want extra space in there for more items on the bottom rack. This is the fruit and vegetable basket. I mix a little bit of vinegar in there with just plain water and it washes the fruits and vegetables on cold water for about 20 minutes. One That's all it takes. What you need to, to note is the instruction booklet calls this a cup and it says to install three cups of water into the top or the machine won't run. Well, we were gonna go for three cups and that didn't work. So we figured out, John figured out, this is what they considered the cup. So three of these, and this is 1.8 liter to this line. So I'm guessing it's two liters out to way. about one and a half gallons. So it uses a lot less water than washing dishes by hand or by running your big dishwasher if all you have are a few items or just one really messy item that you want to put in here, you know, a casserole dish water or some water. Pans. Unscrew the lid, pour the water in there, put the lid back on, you close it up, power it on, and when you push the start button, if it doesn't have enough water in there, it won't, well, it'll start, but then it'll stop and it'll flash a symbol to let you know you need to add. So the water notification will flash red or be red if you don't have enough water and it will flash white when you do have enough water. That's you pretty use simple. use the direct connect between the machine and the faucet. If you have the water off at the faucet, the machine won't start. If you have the water on at the faucet, the machine is gonna start when you push the buttons. It also has the drain, the drain hose, has a little suction cup on it, which we found it's not really that strong, but it's handy for storage, I think. And we just use a clip. When we have the machine here, we use a bucket to drain it in so that it leaves our kitchen sink available for us to use camping things. or in your RV. You can use that bucket and capture the water and you have your gray water. This other machine uses. is great for camping perfect for RVing and it's wonderful for mobile homes, small apartments that don't come with a built-in dishwasher, just any place that you have a faucet and a need for washing dishes. Here's the detergent cup. It holds one tablet or eight grams of liquid. Don't use powdered, um, just loose powder. It won't dissolve as well. And if you're doing a heavy load, then you can use 12 grams. It has two spin arms, one on the bottom, one on the top, and they each pop off for easy cleaning if one of these nozzles becomes clogged. This is the filter, so your hard food items won't clog up the actual food drain, and this piece comes out so that you can rinse it separately from this piece. That's pretty handy. When the door closes, it snaps shut or stays shut by these two strong magnets, one on each side of the door. And it doesn't pop open while it's running. It does take a slight amount of force to get that guy open. Not a whole lot. I mean, anybody can do it, even a child, but it's not just going to pop open when you have water. If you forget to add something during your wash cycle, you can hit the pause button up here and uh, go ahead and put in what you forgot, like say the rack, close the door and hit the pause button again, which is also the start button and it'll start back up. The temperature range of operation for this washes are 122 degrees to 167 degrees and that is Fahrenheit. 
the fruits all go multiple nodes which you select up at the top with the the buttons when they illuminate and it starts with your standard mode which is 60 minutes and then the dry cycle is another additional time but it also has an econo mode a quick mode a heavy mode and then the fruit washing mode which the fruit is always a cold wash choose which cycle you're going to use you push the button that's the select button it looks like a stove top with four circles and one's lit up or one's colored in this is your selector and the dry light went off when it got to the fruits and vegetables selection so that you don't have that heat on the once this stops if you're not going to empty the dishwasher right away or even after you do empty it and you want to keep it clean and instead of get, letting it get musty just hit the dry cycle and it'll circulate air inside there for 72 hours or until you stop it so that it'll keep everything dry and prevent mold and bacteria from growing. Together, it took us about five minutes to get this set up and that's from out of the box to on the countertop uh, it was that easy and you don't really need to follow a big instruction plan it's just really simple I'd like to thank the nice folks at Blitz Home who asked us to review this demo model they were kind enough to provide it for us so that we could share it with you I'll leave a link audience. down below where you can check this out and purchase it and take a look at their other products. They have coffee makers, mixers, microwaves, stoves, just about everything. Any questions or comments about this machine, leave the comments and questions down below and we'll do our best to answer them for you. So thank you for joining us. Please subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, give us those thumbs up, ring the bell so that you get notifications of all of our new videos. And most important of all, you guys come back. Thank you. Bye.